Hey everyone, welcome to this um, edition of Google EMD Algorithm Update News. Today is October 4th, and we are rolling into about our sixth day of this uh, exact match domain algorithm change that has um, affected a lot of people out there. And what we're beginning to see as the, the dust is really beginning to settle now, and the news is coming out, first of all, we have a major curveball that was thrown at us. Uh, adding to the mix of the actual EMD algo update was another Panda update done almost at the same time. Just a few days before, Matt Cutts from Google had announced that um, they did do a, another Panda update. Um, they're calling it Panda 20 out there. And um, you can actually see at an SEO roundtable, they have uh, the official I guess we'll talk about uh, what happened and why they didn't even call it Panda 4. It's a really really good um, article by Barry Schwartz so I highly recommend you take a look at that. Uh, Give some ideas on what happened out there and this is uh, from Webmaster Tools we can actually see ourselves that here on the 27th when that uh, Panda 20 update hit. It's an anomaly that actually happened and I noticed that actually there were some big changes that were going on or uh, fluctuations before and then, uh, from my understanding this happens quite often when updates are happening. Uh, so this is just one of the websites you see it and of course down here toward the bottom this is when the actual EMD algo update hit and this is just the impressions that we're seeing here. Now traffic didn't really get affected of course until the EMD update happened um, but this is uh, another website that I monitor that had actually uh, this marking here is when the Panda update hit. Typically this would be in line with the others. On a weekday, Monday through Friday, it stayed up the same. For some reason, um, this Panda update, which was of course tack, uh, attacking weak content, uh, again, don't know exactly how they were scanning for different uh, content algorithm changes or uh, how they were doing their grading system, but it, this site was uh, slightly affected by it. And here we see the typical pattern, even of another site which actually had an increase in um, impressions when the new algorithm had hit. Now this could be the reason why we see that even though the EMD had kicked in later, because this website that you're seeing in this section here is not an EMD site. It actually has no matches for the key terms that it goes after. So I believe that actually the Panda update helped this site and gave it a lift. And through EMD not affecting it, kept it up. Uh, so that's pretty interesting on that part as well. Uh, so you, we also see now the Panda update helping authority sites. Uh, this site here on the top of this chart um, had one domain name match throughout. It is actually not as, uh, it doesn't have as many pages as some other things. Content is okay. You know, I wrote everything myself. There's no, uh, all backlinking is 100% natural on that site. Uh, but we see how it hit. Now the impressions, although it dropped dramatically, so did traffic quite a bit. But the recovery is happening quite fast with this site. Uh, so whatever algorithms they're doing changes on, I'm going to give an example. Don't run away yet because on the next slide we're also going to see, uh, I'm going to explain to you how the EMD algorithm, I believe, is working. Um, this site down here is more of a nutrition type health site. Uh, also a lot of content, but a lot more YouTube videos were put into this site here. And this site actually has not been hit hard by EMD. Uh, even though there is one or two keywords in the domain, for some reason it's just not um, something. The content must be strong, but like others have been saying, YouTube videos have been upholding a lot of site weight. And of course, this last site, like I said, is a very solid site. Hundreds of pages, all natural um, built content, and uh, it should rank well throughout wherever it's at. It's not an internet marketing type site. It's actually a business site that is out there to feed information. So um, that's what we're seeing here so far. And each, like I said, there's still a lot of news of recovery. Chatter has really started to slow down amongst the forum boards about this. People are still asking if there any, anybody's um, been able to give advice. And what we're beginning to see is that this, oh, this actually is just about the Panda 20. 2.4% 2 of English sites are said to be affected, and it's still rolling out through the weekend, so we're still seeing the dust settling on this Panda update going through. Uh, 
um, what has been verified pretty heavily throughout the internet community is that the EMD bonus power has pretty much lost its weight. Uh, when you had an exact match domain name that matched the keywords you were going after, there seems to be all the power taken out of that. All the wind has been taken out of that um, part of it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you an example of of what how that weight kind of looked or the best way that can visually explain it. And uh, with that we're going to go ahead and use a spreadsheet here. And what you're looking at is the back bluish or grayish um peaks here are pretty much like a scale. Um, if you had a, the higher the number of combined SEO weight that was put into it, the higher you would um, get a score and that would actually put you in the number one spot. And this kind of like a like just a visual example of how it works. So for instance this first row here is the content. You know people would have content going across here in this I put just some random score, but what I did is number seven means it was a lower score of content. I mean the content wasn't that great, um, and this is for this first row here. So you'll see number seven down here in this first row as content, and even now the bounce rate. Bounce rate, of course, the lower the bounce rate, then the better. So in order to get a good ratio on it, the higher the number you see here, then the lower their bounce rate was. So this one maybe had 70%, 80% bounce rate. wasn't all that great. Content wasn't all that great, but it was still ranking well. And you know that's what the panda actually uh, updates were are still continuously trying to do is uh, to go after weak content because people are bouncing away and it's not giving good results. Now on-site SEO. So we see here that you know all of the sites are relatively equal on on-site SEO. Um, everybody's doing their job and doing, but yet nonetheless this one is still ranking high. Backlinks. Okay, the reason why you're going to see like almost the same throughout the first four sites here. Backlinks are all the same. But then you'll see that you know perhaps this guy was doing a little bit more of their buying of um, backlinks or buying links from other sites or whatever it might be. They were actually not doing things. It wasn't natural, and it had 50 backlinks or 50 points of value for that. So then along comes well, let's go ahead and let's say along comes the penguin update. And with penguin, what happens? Is, it went after the backlinks and say most of these are natural backlinks on these earlier sites here so that kept and it went after all the crappy backlinks on this last segment here so let's bring that down to a 25 and what you'll see is a noticeable difference in the chart on the drop now even though it went after it and even if the penguin went after this and it went down even to 10 it still held its number one spot because when we look at the next column the exact match domain in the past before this last update Google was giving a lot of points to having an exact match domain so having an exact match domain now what Google decided to do was basically they're taking away all the power so no matter if your site is an exact match or not you get one point equal across the board and look what happens all of a sudden you have this weighted here all the way down and that's basically where the value of uh, exact match domains and this site basically would even drop down not only with the re-rankings of these actually affected but this would drop off even off probably the top 10 um, and that's what it did it it took away the weight of the exact match domain which is a really good thing um, when you look at that that's that's how the domains or website should be done. It, all the power has been lost, so all things being equal, content now matters. And what you're saying is good solid SEO will build the best rank, period. Uh, so we're going back to now the basics. You got to make sure your content is good. You got to make sure that it's relevant content to the keyword. You got to make sure your title, your tags are in the right place because those are now the indicators. And no one knows the exact weight of everything going through. But another thing is backlinking is still although penguin has hit a lot of the backlink issues what people have been noticing is if you get good solid high ranking backlinks still coming in uh, Google will still count that authority coming in maybe not as strongly as weighted as it used to be but yet nonetheless you are going to be getting that so that is something that needs to be taken into account you're going to actually have this effect so the better your SEO is done you know, even your in-linking, make sure you're linking internally. The other thing is don't be spammy. Don't go ahead and start backlinking uh, a text link, the same keyword 
a thousand times you know your percentage should be mixed natural linking should be done as as natural looking as possible uh, with the backlinks that are going on so you know get your your name out there on authority sites and um, do the best you can on studying on-site SEO and how that should be done right uh, another good example of um, a post that came out today was actually from SEO Moz and what we'll see here is this is a site that came out, I mean, a post that came out today, October 4th, and it's called the Exact Match Domain Playbook, a guide to best practices for EMD, which basically is a guide for best practices. Uh, and what's really cool is he actually has Matt Cutts talking about how they were going to, back two years ago, this video was put out, about how they were going to um, take away some of the weight of the, the Exact Match Domain, and this is what we're seeing today. So there was already in the workings. And, you know, the pretty good charts here good examples but most of all what you're seeing here is this is a long article but you come down to the best practices and you know they talk about how you should be building it and it's all fundamental good SEO so I recommend going out to go ahead uh, go out and visit this website uh, post by uh, SEO Moz uh, look for the post that's called exact match domain playbook a guide to best practices and you get a really good idea of um, some of the fundamentals that should be done or should uh, that everybody should be doing and you know we want to get the spammy sites out of the way and if your site belonged higher then you need to look at maybe what you were missing because you were getting so much weight prior like why did my site tank it was because you were taking advantage too much of the domain match and all of a sudden you even though all the other parts of your SEO were weak it's it carried you all the way through and you need to go ahead and do your on-site you need to do your backlinking properly you need to do uh, everything you know your social media coming in use YouTube if you can to go ahead and add better quality content keep it fresh um, make sure your content that you're putting up there has a good quality amount of words that are on there as well watch out for the duplicate content especially if you're using tools like WordPress and those type of things if you have it auto set to go ahead and create your uh, your title your title tags make sure that you're taking a look at how your title tags are showing up um, you can easily do a site colon enter your site name in Google and you'll be able to go ahead and pull up um, really good information about your site and how the title tags are being looking to it but that's what we're looking at uh, right now the recovery is based on doing good work that needs to be done solid SEO work and practice on it so again like anything else uh, I, I, if you don't agree with the example I gave great um, what we like though is don't just criticize I get get us a good visual example and send it to us send it by email uh, send us an mp3 audio file explaining you know a better way to explain how this EMD algorithm is affecting people or you know make your own video and uh, put it up on YouTube and send us the YouTube link uh, email your comments and your suggestions to EMD algo update at gmail.com and uh, tell us whether you've been affected, how you've noticed the Eagle EMD algo update has uh, been implemented, um, since it's been implemented, how it's affected you uh, as far as your ranking. Are you seeing recovery naturally? Are you doing things? You know, share your information. It'd be really, really helpful. We're going to be getting a newsletter out uh, with the basics and fundamentals put out. You can sign up for our newsletter at emdalgo.com. And uh, when that gets put out, we'll publish out, you know, solid SEO basics that should be followed and some examples that we can put together for you as well and it you know it's, it doesn't cost you a thing it's going to be something that we're going to be doing for the community and the only way that we learn is to also hear from you if you disagree we want to hear from you but you know don't just disagree to disagree make sure you have examples as well we want to see reality so we can share it with everybody else as well uh, thank you for watching and we'll give you another update every day as much as we can of things that we find and uh, SEO news thanks for um, watching this video and this is Chris I'm with web life marketing with my partner Steve out there collecting the information and uh, getting it out to you have a great evening thanks for watching and I truly hope if you've been hit that your rankings are coming back and that uh, this has been a great help thanks Oh, my God.